My name is Lisa Schaefer and I'm the Media Academy Director at Fremont High School. I teach journalism and I'm also the Academy Director. I've been here for eight years. Some IWEs would be um, very much helping the teacher side by side. It could be helping to input grades into you know, a computer, but it also in many cases could be just a space for them to hang out because they don't have a class and a lot of IWEs um, at Fremont and probably some other schools um, spend it more as a study hall, unsupervised. I would say very rarely would a teacher have time to, in the process of teaching another class, to instruct a student on how to do things. Um, I, I would imagine there's some teachers who have a really good relationship with a student and they see that student outside of the class and, and can provide them with some guidance on, on building work skills but I think a lot of times it's just a holding place for students. When I think of my experience at a suburban school and my experience teaching at a school in Oakland, um, I feel like my job takes on so much more importance. Um, I've always felt like when I reflect back on my suburban experience that yeah, I was important to that student, but that student was gonna do just fine without me they were gonna be fine, they were gonna to go to college. It really, I wasn't that big of a, um, a factor in their future, a little bit, but just it was not a make or break. Every single student I have here at Fremont, I feel like if I, you know, I'm, I, I have this sense that if I don't reach them um, and there are other teachers who don't reach them, that this is just the end, like they're, they're such a, um, a very bleak future for them. And so it, it weighs on me as a teacher here um, very much. It's, it's hard to sleep a lot um, because I worry so much about individual students. I think of one of my students that's still at Fremont right now, and I know he came um, to us um, pretty much having missed many years of school, and it was remarkable to see his growth from the ninth grade year to now, but I don't think he's gonna be graduating because it was just too much to make up in four years. He made growth, but it was too much. Um, so, you know, when graduation comes around in a couple weeks and he's not watching, walking the stage, it's going to be very sad. In the last couple years, um, I, I'm pretty sure that we've had at least 25% of our teachers new in the last, I would say, three years. And in my particular program, it's been even higher. So I'm watching my senior class. Um, they're, they're graduating and they, they are very, um, they feel very, very abandoned. They feel like they, um, they don't have the teachers that they started with. Um, I think it's had a really, really big effect on them and on their education and on their trust in the system. I've talked to a lot of teachers about um, how much we need a second adult in our classrooms, um, whether that's an assistant from the um, special education program or it's um, some other type of assistant because there are so many times as a teacher in a school like this where there is a, a student in crisis, a student who needs um, some counseling just maybe outside the door for a little bit that can bring that kid back in and they don't have to be sent to the office, they don't have to be sent to the clinic. Um, you can work with them one-on-one -on -one with just a small conversation but you can't leave your classroom, you know, the other 20 students who are there can't be left alone.